find the value of m and n. 4 raised to power m minus 36 raised to power n is equal to 28, where m and n are positive integers. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of m and n from this given equation. We have 4 raised to power m minus 36 raised to power n is equal to 28, where m and n are positive integers. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have the given equation 4 raised to the power m minus 36 raised to the power n is equal to 28. Then we have 2 square raised to the power m minus 36 is what? c square raised to the power n is equal to 28. Now remember, if you have a raised to the power s raised to the power y, is the same thing as a raised to the power sy, which is the same thing as a raised to the power y raised to the power x. Therefore, this equation become we have 2 raised to the power m all square minus 6 raised to the power n square is equal to what? 28. Now, if you look at this, this is different of 2 square. Remember, if you have a square minus b square is the same thing as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Then, where a is 2 raised to the power m, and b is what? 6 raised to the power n. Therefore, our equation become we have 2 raised to the power m plus 6 raised to the power n multiplied by 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to 28. Now, here we are going to perform a trick here so that the equation will be more easy to work with. Now remember, what we are asked to find is the positive integer solution because the question says m and n are positive integers. Now in that case, remember we have, if you look at this, 2 raised to power m plus 6 raised to power n, then multiply by, we have 2 raised to power n minus 6 raised to power n. This is 2 raised to power m, this is 6 raised to power n, and here is 2 raised to power m, and here is minus 6 raised to power n. It means that 2 raised to power m plus 6 raised to power n is greater than 2 raised to power m minus 6 raised to power n. Now, remember, let's work on this 28. 28 can be expressed as 28 is same thing as we have 1 multiplied by 28. We also have 2 multiplied by 14, which is also equal to 28. And another thing is 28 is also 4 multiplied by 7. Now from here, we say 2 raised to the power m plus 6 raised to the power n is greater than 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n. It means that 2 raised to the power any number plus 6 raised to the power any number here is what? Even. Because we are looking for positive and positive integer solution. 2 raised to the power m, remember, plus 6 raised to the power n, we said is greater than 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n. Now, from here, this is even. And 2 raised to the power m, any number here, minus 6 raised to the power any number here is also even. Therefore, let's look at this place. 1 is odd and 28 is uneven. Then we reject this. Also, let's come to the next one. 2 is even and 14 is even. We accept this. Then for here, we have 4 is even and 7 is odd. We reject this. 
now the sol the possible solution we work with now is what this one then which is equal to what two multiplied by 14 therefore we have two raised to the power m plus six raised to the power m which is greater than 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n. So this is n. n is equal to, we said this one is greater than this, meaning that and 14 is also greater than 2. We have 14 greater than 2. Now, in this case, since this one is even, this one is even, this one is even, and this one is what? Even. Therefore, this one will go for this, and this will go for this. We have 2 raised to the power m plus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 14. Let's call this equation 1. And we also have this 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2. Let's call this equation 2. Now, this is a simultaneous equation. Now let's solve using elimination method. Now we have 2 raised to the power m minus 6 plus 6 raised to the power n is equal to 14. Then we have 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2. Let's add equation 1 and 2 together. Then if you add together, we have 2 into 2 raised to the power m this one will cancel this is equal to 14 plus 2 that is 16. now divide both sides by 2 we have 2 raised to power 2 into 2 raised to power m divided by 2 is equal to what 16 divided by 2 this one will cancel this 2 here 1 2 here 8 then we have 2 raised to power m is equal to what 8 2 raised to the power m is equal to 8 is what? 2 raised to the power 3. Then they have the same base. This one will cancel this. m is equal to what? 3. That is the value of m. Then also, let's substitute for m in any of the equation, either equation 1 or 2. But I'm going to pick equation 2 for my own case. 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2. Then m is equal to 3. We have 2 raised to the power 3 minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2. Now we have 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to 2. Then we have minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2 minus 8. Then minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? Minus 6. Then, 6 raised to the power of n is equal to what? 6. Then, this is the same thing as 6 raised to the power of 1. We have, they have the same base. This one will cancel this. n is equal to 1. Therefore, our answers are m is equal to 3 n is equal to what? 1. Those are the positive solution of what? m and n. Now, let's check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. Check. Then this is 64. 4 raised to power 3 is 64 minus 36 raised to power 1 is 36, which is equal to 28. Now, 64 minus 36 is 28, which is equal to 28, which satisfy the given equation at m equal to theory and n equal to 1. If you have enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.